to 9 to 42, I'm Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is on Blue on Black by Five Finger Death Punch. I'm going to teach you how to play the verse riff and the chorus as well. First thing we need to do when we play this song is to tune the top string, the E string, down to a D. So it's a tone down. So it should sound like a D. Once you've tuned that, the rest of the strings are all normal. Okay, so we're going to start off it's basically holding like a D5 or a D chord. You've got your first finger on G2 and your third finger just underneath it on B2. And we're going to play the top, I'm going to call it the E string because I'm used to calling it the E string even though it's a D now. So play the E string and then the D string and then we're going to play the B and the G at the same time holding down frets two and three. So the first bit you get this. And then it jumps back to the E string. So the first uh, two beats go. And then we've got a little hammer on going from fret three to five on the A string. And then you're going to play the open E again. So from the beginning. And then you're going to play the two and the three again. And then we're going to play a little A, A2. Okay, so the first bar sounds like this, nice and slow. One more time. Okay, on to bar number two. We're going to play A3, and then open G string, open D, and then go to fret two on the A string, and then again play the G string and the D string. So the beginning of bar two sounds like this. And then we're going to play E5 and then E3. So the whole of bar two sounds like this. So let's put bars one and two together. It sounds like this. Up to speed. Now bar three is exactly the same as bar one, so we don't need to worry about that. And then bar four changes slightly, so it's going to play A3, G, and then B3, going back down to A2, then G, D, and then it's plays five and three on the E string, but it's not the same rhythm, it's, it's going rather than, okay, so on bar four it's a bit quicker going five, three, it plays it as a uh, semi-quaver rather than quavers. Okay, so bars three and four put together sound like this. Okay, so let's play the whole line nice and slowly, ready, and... And that just keeps repeating round, up to speed, it sounds like this. Which takes us to the chorus. Okay, onto the chorus, and we've got first finger on G2, third finger on B3, so that's like a D5 chord. You can play from the top string downwards, doesn't matter if you hit the A string, I know I haven't written the A string on there, but it's, it's fine with that. So you're going to hit the chord, and then play the top string twice, and then hit the chord uh, another two times, so you get this. So da, do, do, da, da. Let me 
clean the sound up, so hopefully you can hear it a bit better. Okay, and then you're going to play A, A2, as a little run into a C power chord, which is your first finger, on, we're on bar two now, first finger on three of the A string, and either your third or fourth finger on D5. Actually, I would use my little finger, because we have to stretch for this next chord. It, your first finger goes from fret three down to fret two on the A string. So if you use your little finger on D5, it will make it easier to do that. Because bar two goes. So your first finger jumps down. Uh, and then it's going to play a load of palm muted uh, fret two and fret five together. So you actually play six of those. So if I put bar two together, it sounds like this. So let's put the first part of the chorus together. Um, it does this part three times, so it sounds like this. And then it goes to an A chord. It's going to play it six times and then just an open A and A2, so it sounds like this. Okay, and then it goes to a C power chord, three and five, it's from uh, the last bar of the chorus, and it's going to go. So da, 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 da. And that completes the whole chorus. So let's try the whole chorus together. So three times around the first two bars. And then it plays the A chord and then up to the C5. Here we go. One, two, three, and. That's the like verse and the chorus to uh, Blue on Black by Five Finger Death Punch. Uh, that'll get you through uh, the whole of the song because you can play that bit. There's like lead bits that go over the top, but you could play that those bits underneath. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little video of mine. If you have, if you could subscribe to my channel, which is 9 to 42. I know it's a stupid name, but I came up with it just not thinking when I first started this channel. But anyway, uh, if you've got any comments, put it in the comments section. If you've got any songs you want to learn, put them in the comments section as well. If you could give this video a like, uh, I'd really appreciate that as well. Thanks for watching this, and I'll see you next time.